Hi, everybody. So continuing to work on the right elevator, uh, riveting the rib slash rear spar to the top skin. Finally, some back riveting that I don't have to rivet out again. And there falls the camera. Yeah, so one thing I did, besides not remember to move the camera back, is the back riveting set that I have, while it's nice, it's got a big round like composite flange that sits around the side of the riveting area and it's just it's it's a pain in the butt because it, it doesn't let you get in anything so uh, that being said I simply flatten the sides uh, very quickly on a bench grinder and back to business Yeah, by this point, I was basically just stalling and looking for any possible thing that I could do while I was waiting for my uh, my steel bar. And there goes the camera again. Waiting for my steel bar to show up so that uh, I could make the special bucking bar to finish off these damn back ribs. Here I am doing a little back riveting to rivet the trim plate uh, cover on. Yeah, I thought that I could actually hammer some of those back rivets in by hand. A friend of mine, uh, my, my friend Victor, said, Oh, I, just, I do all my back riveting by hand. I just use a hammer. I'm sitting there thinking, Oh, man, the rivet gun really does make fast work of it. So I tried doing it by hand, and it was an abysmal failure. So I won't be doing that again. I'm going to stick to my rivet gun. Masking off another piece of skin for scuffing and prepping for later. Oh crap, that reminds me, I keep forgetting to order the damn double-sided sticky tape. I'm gonna do that right now while I'm while I'm doing the commentary for this video. So this is Victor. Victor came by to get uh, to ch check out the rivets. Uh, give me a few words of encouragement. There it is, let's buy that again. Heart. Okay, so at this point in the video, what the hell am I doing? Uh, again, at this point, I was just stalling because looking for things to do in the instructions. Here I am doing more masking and prepping for the other side of the right elevator. Ah, uh, yes, and now just back riveting those ribs as well. It's a pretty simple process. The, the complicated stuff gets going when 
uh, after you put both of these skins on because you don't put the complete skins on you've got to reach into pockets to get to specialized rivets that uh, you wouldn't get to if you accidentally did the whole skin. Ah crap and there goes the camera again. And so now uh, with all of the riveting done and nothing for me to do but wait for my bucking bar material, I basically just Clico all the ribs together and wait. Anyway, I will see you in the next video.